late June, early July, 1992, all the way up to Halloween, October 31st, 1999. We're going to be talking about, that's right, in a snap, let's say it, Dato's Family Restaurant. Years go by, but the memory stays. And those were the good old days. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. Let me take you back and tell you a story of Dato's. It's really funny. The story of kerosene. Mark Smith, as I said, uh, Mark Mark was just wild. He was, he was, uh, you know, I mean, probably uh, at the time he was probably in his uh, uh, late forties, uh, early early late forties, and Mark was just the type of wild and crazy. Like I said, he'd go out and uh, uh, drink with Jimmy and the boys over there at uh, uh, at the Penguin Lounge. Of course, Jimmy owned, you know, the owner of the Penguin Lounge over there in the, uh, the uh, North Canton area, I believe it was. And he'd go over there, like I said, drink with Jimmy and the boys. Sometimes he'd come back and, you know, work at the restaurant, and he'd be drunk. And Mark was hilarious. But one time that stands out, like many others uh, with Mark, was the Clark uh, g um, gas station there. It was uh, like right next, you know, right, you know, right next door to Daco's there. And uh, Mark had always uh, Mark had owned a uh, I Rock Z28, uh, 1986 Z28, and. Uh, Mark had always uh, made the comment to me and my cousin Sean that he don't put Clark gas in his uh, in his I rod, you know, uh, there in his Z, uh, in his uh, uh, in his I rod, you know, his Z28. We're like, well, why? He's like, that's kerosene. He goes, that because I put gas in there. He goes, some of a bitch set my engine on fire. We started laughing about it. Mark got the idea to. Uh, Every time the gas truck had pulled up to uh, to fill up the tanks and stuff, Mark would always yell "kerosene," and always be the same guy too. He just yelled "kerosene," and a guy would just get. I mean, you know, at first couple of times it was all good, but uh, after like the third or fourth time, and then keep edging him and edging him about kerosene, he got mad and uh, he started uh, uh, telling Mark, "Fuck you, buddy!" I mean, he'd go off and Mark would be like, "Shut up, fucking goof." It's like, won't you fucking shove that hose up your ass and uh, fucking the kerosene set your ass on fire? It's not kerosene, damn it, it's gas. It's kerosene. It's fucking idiot. Like I said, we've done it two, three, four, five times, you know, or, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe like two or three times a week or whatever, uh, you know, however long it was that the uh, guy had come and uh, brought the. Uh, the gas there to uh, fill the tanks up, but uh, we also got involved there uh, uh, a little uh, more deeper. When uh, I think it was uh, Mark had dared Sean to go grab the kerosene sign over there at uh, uh, there uh, right next door to the station, or the and uh, Sean had done that, brought it in there to on the side of the, uh, on the cook's side door and left it in there, and uh, you know kind of just done it. But every time the uh, truck would pull up there to fill up the tanks. It was kerosene! Kerosene! Who fucking ain't kerosene? Damn it, gas! You know, it was, it, it was just one of those funny things that the guy had gotten so mad that he had told the owner about it and the owner had called a couple times Doc and Doc tried to ask us what our, or uh, asked Mark and us what our deal was. You know, why we get, get that guy a problem. He's like, you know, that's not good for business and stuff like that. Of course, we laughed about it because it was all funny. It was, it was all funny games, uh, yelling at the uh, uh, the gas truck or, or the uh, uh, the driver of the truck that furnished the uh, gas there for the Clark station. Cursing, cursing, all because Mark said his IROC Z uh, 28, his 1986 IROC Z 28, uh, caught fire. Uh, his engine caught fire because uh, uh, he put uh, uh, kerosene in there in his tank and. Whatever it was there, instead of uh, uh, instead of putting regular gas, he said Clark's gas was always kerosene. Like I said, nonetheless, it was funny because that driver, we had that driver so mad that uh, he got ready to uh, come uh, uh, come across the guardrail there to separate the from Clark on on the side, and uh, he got ready to uh, uh, probably probably hit us or smack us or try to cause a fight or whatever. But like I said, Mark kerosene. Funny time, nonetheless. Had to be there to understand the full extent of it. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. I'll catch you next time.